It's time for a high school basketball game night. Now here's your play-by-play -play announcer for tonight's game. Tonight's first semifinal game features the Dothan High Tigers against the Daleville Warhawks. First, non-starters for the visitors on your scoreboard, the Daleville Warhawks. A junior, number three, Trevor High. A junior, number five, LaBregion Bloodsaw. A junior, number 14, Keon Ford. A junior, number 20, Eric Giles. A junior, number two, Christian Amos. A senior, number 24, Steve Conyers. A senior, number 30, Darwin Mason. A junior, number 32, Tyler Aquino. A senior, number 44, Javargus Crawford. And now the starting five for the Daleville Warhawks. A senior, number 10, Aaron Cope. A senior, number 12, Robert McGirt. A sophomore, number 22, Jalen Hinton. A senior, number 40, Jonathan Pittman. A senior, number 12, Zacchaeus Hayes. Warhawks, assistant coach Blake Garner, head coach Troy Turman. And now the non-starters for your Dothan High Tigers. A senior, Number one, Jordan Neal. A senior, number two, Devonte Ely. A junior, number five, Jamarcus Sims. A senior, number 10, Destin Gaskin. A sophomore, number 12, Kobe Baggett. A senior, number 14, Anthony Reeves. A senior, number 22, Tanner Creel. A junior, number 32, Keyshawn Truitt. A sophomore, number 34, Tavoris Butler. And now your starting lineup, for the Dothan High Tigers. A junior, number three, Jordan Small. A sophomore, number four, Tyrez Lindsey. A sophomore, number 20, Kevin Morris. A freshman, Number 24, Tyson Williams. A junior, number 11, I'm sorry, number 44, Chris Graham. Assistant coaches for the Dothan Tigers, Dr. Parr Jones, George Kennedy, Cedric Martin, Norm Love, Brandon Brown, head coach of the Dothan Tigers, Emmanuel Brown. Officials for tonight's game, Russell Gordon, Earl Brown, Landrew Capehart, clock operator, Larry Smith, official bookkeeper, Danny Youngblood. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Downtown Dothan Hoops Classic. Bobby Price and Mitt Kirkland along with you. <laughs> Mitt, this has been a great tournament. This is my first night of an opportunity to be here this, uh, this year. But uh, from what I understand in speaking with uh, the tournament director, uh, Coach Johnny Oppert, this has been a greatly attended uh, tournament. And uh, there's been uh, great crowds every night. And 
man, there's been some exciting games. Really, Bobby, that really have been. And, uh, I mean, we had the last round we had three very close games that were decided in the closing seconds of the game. So, you know, it's going to be an exciting game. Both of these teams are very talented, and they both play very hard and are well coached. Uh, we're about ready to uh, put the ball in the air. It's uh, tipped out of bounds, so it's going to go to uh, the Dothan Tigers. So they will have first possession, and we're sort of a north-south uh, uh, situation here with uh, Dothan uh, at the Dothan Civic Center. So uh, the Tigers will be, well, they've changed it, and they've called it the Warhawks. So the Warhawks will be headed north, and the Tigers will be headed south here in the first period of play. So the Warhawks move the ball around, and we have a traveling violation against number 22, Jalen Hinton. So turnover number one. Bob, I've had the opportunity to see both of these teams play a couple of times this year, and uh, I'll tell you, key players for Dothan, a guy that made some big plays the other night, number three, Jordan Small, number one, Jordan uh, Neal, and uh, Tyrese Lindsay, number four. He's a very good player. So we have talented teams, but that guy there, McGirt, he can take it to you. Uh, tried to jam it, wouldn't work. So uh, we're loose on both ends for, as uh, Dothan is moving the ball uh, pretty quickly. Uh, down the court, inside to the big jump, turnaround jumper to number 20, Kevin Morris, for two points. Morris is a, he's a good player down in the paint. He's able to get in there and put up some points, and he's a good rebounder, too. All right, the Warhawks uh, head toward the baseline, puts it up, reverse layup for number 22, puts it in for two. Jalen Hinton, he's one of the big guns for that Delville team. So number 24 shoots a long one, it's off the mark, rebounds by number three, puts it up, it rolls out, with controlled by the Warhawks on their fast break. Three point shot is off the mark, uh, bouncing in, number 20 for Dothan, Morris gets the rebound, here come the Tigers. Knocked away, turnover for Dothan. So here comes Dale once again. Number 10, Aaron Cope uh, feeds it under the basket, and it goes in for number 42, Zacchaeus Hayes. That was a nice feed from McGurk over to Hayes for the basket. Dothan trying to work from the outside perimeter, all the way to the corner to number four, drives the baseline, pulls up, shoots. It will not go, but he'll come to the line to shoot. Tyrez Lindsay has been a big part of this Tiger offense and defense uh, during the tournament. He's come through big. And he's not a big scorer, but I tell you what, he gets the job done. That's uh, the foul is on uh, Pittman for the Warhawks. Team foul one as we're just underway. It is a four to two lead for, uh, as we got subs coming in. Lindsay misses the first, has another coming. Eyes the basket, puts it in the air. It's good. So it's a one point lead for Daleville, four to three. As they quick come quickly down court, driving toward the basket, mixes it out to 42 and travels. Turnover for Daleville. And that's the second turnover, but the thing McGurk, McGurk does, Bobby, he can draw the defense to you, and it opens up a lot of assist opportunities. And he's an excellent three-point shooter. All right, here comes Dothan. Working the ball around. That's Lindsay. Down to the corner, number three. Inside, turnaround jumper by number five is short. Rebounded by the uh, uh, Warhawks, and here they come on the fast break. It's number 10, Aaron Cope. Getting it to Hayes, who shoots for two. That was a good looking shot that time by Zacchaeus Hayes. And he put his team up on top six to three. Yep, 515 left in the first period of play as Dothan moves. Number three puts it up again off the mark. Touched by Dothan, then fast break for the Warhawks. 
knocked away. That stopped the easy basket for Daleville on that go from uh, Dothan's number three, Small. And we get a foul. Should be a floor foul. Number 20, Morris. That would be Morris first and the team's first. But he is going to shoot. Uh, he is at the line to shoot. First one is up and misses. So he is 0 for 1 with two points. One for one with three now. So it's a 7-3 lead for the Devil Warhawks over the Dothan Tigers. Turn around, put up by Dothan. And uh, number five is going to draw the foul. Lindsay will come to the line. We'll see who the official uh, Number 40, that's foul number two on him. Second team foul. At the line, number five. First one is up. Too much, uh, too much height on that uh, one, so it falls away. No good. As a team right now, Dothan is one of three from the line. And Bobby, shooting free throws the second half is the reason Dothan won that game against Chipley uh, in, in the previous round. Okay, he's one for uh, two from the free throw line. So it is a 7-4 lead now. It is Daleville over Dothan. 432 left in the first period of play. As Daleville tries to work the floor. Oh, a nice three-pointer there from number 12. Robert McGirt. I tell you what, they've got to get in McGirt's face because if they leave him open, he'll knock those down all night long. It's a 10-4 lead now. Six points behind of the Tigers. And number five will come to the line again. That was a good move that time by number 20. Uh, Kevin Morris and a good follow-up that time by Hinton. And a good follow-up that time by Jamarcus Sims. So Sims 0 for 1. Now he's 1 for 2. And I tell you what, Bobby, if they don't start making these free throws, it's going to come back to haunt them in the second half. He makes uh, – one of two, so he's 50% from the free throw line. And, and that's what Dothan is shooting thus far. And Dothan has only made one field goal. They Ten. call a check. Yeah, he could have grabbed the rim. Who made that basket last basket, Barbara? Uh, I don't know. Okay. McGurk makes it. Number 22 made the basket. That was Hinton. McGurk makes the first technical free throw and, and the second. second. So McGurk has six points in. It's 14 to five, and Dothan only has one field goal and three free throws. And um, right now, Delville is in control. They are playing the way they want to. They're moving the ball, and they're doing a good job of passing. Three-point shot is off the mark. Number 20 for Dothan gets the rebound. That's Morris. So here come the Tigers, trailing by eight. What Dothan's got to do, Bob, is go down on offense and set up something. They've, tried to, they've got to try to get something going here early so they don't fall too far behind. Right now they're nine points behind. Uh, that's number three for the tap in. And Dothan needed that one. That's only their second field goal of the game. It's uh, three on two to the basket. And a great block by Dothan's number three, uh, Small, to the basket, put it up and in. 
for for Small. So Small has hit a couple of quick baskets to get Dothan back into this game. It's a 14-9 lead for Delville. 2.45 left in the first period. Great pass. 42. From McGirt over to uh, Hayes. Hayes, yes. They've done that three times tonight. 20. That's Morris, his second. So uh, Morris is going to be taking a seat and in to replace him, number 44, Chris Graham. So at the free throw line to finish off a three-point play is uh, Hayes for the Warhawks. And he does. And probably looking at the free throws, they are Deerville's three of four from the line. Jordan Neal comes in for the Tigers, number one. And Dothan is three of six. Down by eight again. 238 left in the first period. Trying to work uh, the outside perimeter. Going inside, easy layup for number five, Sims, for two. That's four points for DeMarcus Sims. Good ball movement that time by the Tigers of Dothan. Great turnover. Here comes Dothan to the basket. 44 uh, shot is. Uh, well, well, that should have been a goaltender, Bobby. He hit the backboard and the ball had not gone in. Oh, the basket's going to be good for 22. Foul is on uh, Jamarcus Sims. Sims. And uh, I think Dothan, I, I didn't like that call, Bobby. He hit the backboard. The ball was still up there, and it caused it to come out. Then they get a charge on the other end. Misses, Men misses. Gets his, misses his shot, but gets his own rebound. Drives the basket, won't go. Dothan on the fast break. A steal. And the foul's going to be uh, on number three, I believe. We'll see what the official calls. Three. Small. So that is the fifth team foul. So at the line will be number 12, McGirt, with five points. Six. Yeah, six points. Make it seven. All right, 20 to 11 is the score. A minute 45 left in period number one. That's a lot of points, uh, 20 points in the period, Bobby. Makes that one. <laughs> Right now, Dothan is not playing their game, and Delville is playing their game. So that's why they are up. And, you know, we talked about the calls, but you can't let that stop. You have to just go on and play. We'll take that three. And that was a, a, a needed three by Jordan Neal. 21-14, a minute and 25 seconds left in the first. Dothan with a turnover. Up and in for Small. Great body control that time by uh, by Jordan Small. 21 to 16. Dothan closes the gap a little more, but you can't leave the back door wide open. And I tell Hayes you what, puts in two more. And Delville is definitely exploring that back door being open. They have got quite a few points down in the paint. Working the outside perimeter. Number one, shoot, Neal shoots another three. <laughs> so Neal has hit two threes in a row to bring Dothan back within five. They were trailing by 10. 30 seconds uh, left in the first. All the way to the basket. 42 puts it in. They've got to get somebody back uh, on defense, Bob, but they are eating them up down low. 25 to 19, 20 seconds left. Dothan just uh, waiting to uh, get to a last shot effort here. And almost three in a row. <laughs> oh, me, he gets the rebound and draws the foul. Draws the foul. So Sims will come to the line to shoot two. 
Marcus Sims. He's two of four from the line tonight with four points. So Crawford commits the foul. That's their fourth foul. Dothan has five. And at the line is Sims. I'm sorry. Yeah, it is. Come see it. Number five, Sims. And he misses another. He is two of two, five. Two of five with four points. Makes that one. So, Bobby, it's a five point game. And that's going to end the first period of play. So, we've come to the end of one. And the Dothan Tigers are trailing the Deville Warhawks 25 to 20. We'll be back with more action after this timeout. You're watching the Scenic Sports Network. All right, back at the Dothan Civic Center for the Downtown Dothan Hoops Classic. Bobby Price, Mitt Kirkland along with you. And it looks like this was going to be nip and tuck for Dothan. As I, I recall from reading uh, the information about the last game Dothan was in, uh, they were down like by eight at the half. They were down 15 points in the second half. And they came up with a big four period, put up 24 points versus 11 for Chipley. And that's why they were able to win the game. But the thing you don't want to do is dig a deep hole. They were down 10 points. They've been able to cut that lead down to five. But Dothan's got to find a way to stop giving up the easy baskets down the baseline uh, to Delville. Yeah, the, the, the full court press has been uh, uh, has not been effective for them as we get a turnover by, by uh, Delville. And I will point out, Mitt, uh, uh, Sunday afternoon coming home from church or Sunday morning, uh, the Tigers were practicing at the Dothan High Gym. <laughs> yeah, Coach Brown said he was going to have them out this Sunday. <laughs> yeah, he said that Saturday night. McGirt. All right. Uh, almost uh, loses, but doesn't happen. Three-point shot from the top of the key is long. About half the fans agree with it, and other half dis disagree with the call. <laughs> uh, so Dothan will get the ball. All right, here we go with uh, Dothan on their end coming in. Partially blocked, trying to go inside to the big guy. Turnaround jumper by 34, and he is foul. So Tavoris Butler will come to the line. He's a, a big boy there. He is a big boy. <laughs> <laughs> That's on number 44, Crawford, his second. Yep. But uh, Butler, he's, he's, got a, he's got a nice touch to be as big as he is, Bobby. You know, a lot of big guys don't have that nice touch. But when he shoots the ball, he has a very nice touch. You see what I'm talking about? Yeah, he puts that one in for one. Sub coming back in for uh, Devil is number 22 as Crawford sits down after picking up a couple of fouls. So it's down to a four-point game, 25-21. As Butler tries to make it two in a row, and he does. So it's down to a three-point game. 7 minutes left in the first half. It's a three-point lead for Daleville. Dothan got the early basket and uh then it's been downhill from there. Robert McGirt missed that shot, but I tell you what, I've been very impressed with him the whole tournament. Trying to go inside to number 44, sets up a post. Inside to 34, up, and it uh, bounced away, and we get a turnover on the Dothan Tigers. Yeah. Dothan did a pretty good job the first period handling. I only had them down for one turnover and Delville down for four. So they did a good job of protecting the ball, but Delville did a good job of making points. So the uh, Warhawks looking to do something with it. And we're going to get a Warhawk foul on number five, I believe. Yes, so that is Bloodshaw, his first foul. So Bloodshaw made a couple of big uh, baskets, Bobby, in that previous game in order for them to get here. 
6.09 left in the half. We're still down by three, 22.25. And uh, <laughs> Butler. that big guy put it in there, man. The Butler did it, Bobby. And that's going to be uh, his first. Hayes first. Okay, and uh, I'll tell you, Butler's come off the bench, Bob, and scored four points, and we have a one-point game, and he can uh, tie the score up if he makes this one. 6.02 left in the uh, first half of play, and uh, he misses that one. So it's still a one-point lead, 25-24 for the Warhawks of Daleville. That time tried to go what, to the back door and it wasn't there. Right, that's what they've been successful at it all at all night, and that time they weren't able to connect. So that's a Daleville turnover. So here come the Tigers. Number twelve is Kobe Baggett. Baggett shoots a three off the mark, and the Warhawks are there with it to get the rebound. That's McGirt. Goes up, misses. Uh, that's a that's a floor foul. That's yeah, going to be the second on um, Bludge Saw. Well, we're in the bonus, so uh, it's a one and one for Dothan. 24 is in the, back in the game. This is Williams. He's the uh, freshman, along with Neal, number one. Uh, 34 to big guy Butler. We count this one. So we're tied at 25 apiece. And that was Baggett. Make his first points and 44 ground back in the game. Right now, Dothan is on a 5 0 run, Bobby. So back it misses in the second. So we are knotted at 25 apiece with 5 17 to go in the half. Wide open right. for the basket. Yep. He'll, he'll, uh, Hayes will make those all night long if uh, as wide open as he is. 13 points for Zacchaeus Hayes. Three more for Neal. That's Neal's third three-pointer. That gives him nine points. And Dothan a one-point lead. Uh, they have a turnover. And that's that third turnover of the period. So it's 28-27. It's a Dothan lead uh, with 4.41 left to go in the half. We've got a timeout on the floor. 30 seconds. Here we are with just 4.41 left to go in the first half of play. The Dothan Tigers have uh, clawed their way back into this, now have a one-point lead, 28-27. And it's been done primarily from turnovers from Daleville, right, Mitt? Yeah, Daleville's committed uh, three turnovers here in the period, and I have them down for seven for the game. Inside to the big guy. Three-second lane violation. Turnover for Dothan. So Dothan picks up their second turnover of the period. They're up by one, 28 to 27. Trying to make this full-court pressure work. McGirt, number 12, is a great ball handler. Hey, he's a great ball player. <laughs> Wide open. Oh, I don't know how he missed it, but we'll take it. <laughs> Here comes Dothan on the offense. Bag it. To Williams and now to Neal. Inside to the big guy. Driving the baseline, picked it up, number 24, too strong. Dothan gets a rebound but can't put it up, and Daleville comes in with the ball fast, loose ball on the floor, and we got a jump ball, and it stays with Dothan. Yeah, it goes to Dothan. I'll tell you what, I'm impressed with number 24, Tyson Williams' defense. 
he is he's all over the place and he's a good defender and he forced uh, McGirt into a situation that he couldn't recover from I'm telling you what he flew down the court to uh, get in to uh, knock that ball away and get the loose ball on the floor and then gets uh, the jump ball and Dothan back with it 34 puts it up and in Butler Butler for two I told you, Bobby, he's he's smooth. He's big, but don't let that fool you. Dothan by three. 30, 27, 315 left in the half. And right now in the period, Dothan's on a 7-0 run. I mean, a 7-2 run. 22 puts it up and in for two. That is Hinton. Now, Hinton's a good ball player. He's very capable of putting some points on the board. Dothan misses that one, so on a fast break, here comes Delville to the basket. Won't go. Dothan, here comes the big guy. Oh, offensive foul. Offensive foul against the big guy. Yeah, that's it. Well, that could have gone either way, but <laughs> it went against uh, Butler, his first, but a great effort. <laughs> I think uh, a lot of the fans were upset <laughs> about that call. <laughs> but they was wanting to get, you know, they, they were pulling for the big guy. So it's a uh, one-point lead for Dothan, 30-29. to 29. Two and a half minutes left in the half. 30-29, a one-point Dothan lead. Bevel stretching the floor out. And... Uh, Turns it over a bit. Bobby, just looking at this, Delville has only scored four points in the period, and Dothan has put up 10. Now, both teams uh, scored a lot of points in the first. Delville scored 25 points in the first, and Dothan scored 20. So this this Mark, has, Del Mark Delville and another turnover. Yeah, yeah, and this. Uh, oh, nice move to the middle to Sims. And, and this period has been a lot slower for both teams. And it's actually worked to Dothan's advantage. Three-point shot is there for number 12. Hey, McGirt hits his second three. So it's uh, tied at 32 apiece. McGirt has 11 points. Minute 44 and counting. Number 12 for three, off. And we got a jump ball, so it'll stay with, uh, with no. Dillville. Number 10 comes in. This is Gaskin for Dothan, along with 44 Graham back in. We haven't seen Gaskin. I haven't seen him play this year, Bob, and this is about our third or fourth Dothan game. And uh, he was such a, a big part of that Dothan team last year. I don't know if he's injured or what. Well, right. he's got a knee brace on that left knee. And this particular sport is tough on the knees. Yes, it is. McGirt. Dothan. Here comes on the fast break. Knocked away by number Travel. Travel on traveling on number 22. That was against a, Hinton. That, that was a uh, good defensive play by uh, Delville, but they turned it right back over to Dothan. That time uh, Baggett was didn't have good awareness of what was going on around him, and he got his pockets picked. 106. And County. Here comes Dalevel. That was an ill-advised shot by the Tigers. Pretty. Pretty. 34-22. 15 points for Hayes in the first half. Dothan working the outside perimeter. There's uh, nothing inside. Yeah, that's the turnover on Dothan. 35.1 seconds left. Delville is going up by two, 34-32. So we're at 32nd mark of the first uh, half of play. Yeah. 
Great Dothan, hustle. Dothan's going to get it with 22.7 seconds left. And both teams are hustling, Bobby. They and are. That's, and that's what you want them to get out there. Hey, they're making plays. Both teams are making plays. 22.7 seconds left as the Tigers will take possession here from uh, that turnover by Dale. Going to go for the one shot as we uh, count to 15 seconds as Dothan works their offense now. Gaskin. Well, they wasted a bunch of seconds there. Gaskin looks over to number one who shoots off the mark. And it's going to come to the half. 34-32 the point total. Uh, Daleville with a two-point lead. What a first half of play and uh, a lot of excitement. You want to? Uh, well, we'll, we'll do it when we come back. Bobby. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, you're you're uh, watching the Downtown Dothan Hoops Classic right here on your Scenic Sports Network. Welcome back to the Dothan Civic Center for the Downtown Dothan Hoops Classic. That's in. Uh, well in progress for this year. We are at the uh, what is semifinals. The semifinals. <laughs> yes. And it's been a great first half here, Mitt. 34-32 the score. Daleville just uh, maintaining a two-point uh, lead as the Tigers will inbound the toss. And quickly recapping the score and the leading score for Daleville. Number 42, Zakiris. Zakiris. Uh, Hayes, uh, Hayes had 15 points. He led all scores. Leading score for Dothan was uh, – Jordan Neal, number one, with nine points, and he had three threes in the half. Devil kicks it away, so stays with Dothan. 34 32, 7.40. We're just underway in the third period. Dothan on its first possession. From the corner for three, it's off the mark, and uh, 44 gets the rebound for Dothan. Can't put it in. And number 20 is foul. That is Kevin Morris. He'll come to the line to shoot a pair. So that's against Aaron Cope. And I tell you what Dothan did that time. They did a good job of keeping that ball alive on the offensive board. And normally if you do that, it'll pay dividends. Yeah, it, it, they definitely worked around the key. Monty, Monty fine there. But one thing that's hurt Dothan all night is from the foul line, Bobby, they have shot very poorly. And like I said earlier, you know, it can come back to hunt them. They've missed seven points, eight points. All right, Devil to the corner for two, three as an air ball. Dothan gets the rebound, and here we go, fast break to number 44. Nice uh, for Graham for two points. That time, they were able to get the ball out, and Graham got open, and he was able to, to lay in the reverse layup. Dothan back on top. Well, it's tied at 34 piece. 6.50 and counting in the third period of play. Relatively fast, fast-paced game, bit. Uh, that first half went through mighty quick. Dothan able to come up with a rebound and go toward their offense. Number four shoots a three. It's an air ball. I Great. think uh, I think one of uh, Delville players got a hand on it. Number forty for two. Pittman's first points of the game. Back for a two-point lead, 36-34. Misses the three again, but the big rebound by number 20, the big guy. It won't go. Gets it again. Up and in. Great hustle that time by Kevin Morris, Bobby. He stuck with it until he got it to go. And we got a reach-in foul from uh, Williams. That will be his first, the team's first of the second half. 
And we're tied at 36 apiece. 547 left in the third. Williams on McGirt. I tell you what, like why don't rise? <laughs> I mean, all over him. Well, he has to because I tell you what, McGirt would put the lights out on you. A pump won't go. Big rebound by Graham and gets it to Williams. Fast break. Here we go with uh, number three shoots it short. Gets almost had the rebound. It's two on one. So the foul is going to be on number 24. He'll pick up his second. So number 12, McGirt at the line with 10 points thus far on the night. McGirt had 10 points, yes, in the first half, Bobby. And that one fell away, no good. He was four for four at the line in the first half. Gets the roll on the second one. So Daleville back on top by 137-36. 5-10 left in the third. I tell you what, Morris is taking it to him. I, I like the way he's been aggressive on the offensive boards. That's his second. Zacchaeus Hayes is called for the foul. So Morris at the line, 0 for 2, with four points. He makes one. Dothan has missed eight free throws in this game but thus far tonight. That's huge. That is huge, Bobby. Malley missed nine. We're tied up at 37 apiece. 4.57 left in the third. All the way across the court to number 10 is no good. And uh, alertly, Dale gets the rebound. That time they called Dothan sleeping and took advantage of it. Dale continues to work it around, won't go. That should be White's ball. Yeah. And it is. Great hustle by number four, Tyrez Lindsey. To, uh, to get, get that uh, turnover their way. Like I mentioned earlier about Lindsey, Bobby, he may not put up a, a whole lot of points, but Lindsey's going to be a factor in the game when he's in there. To number four in the corner, inside at the baseline, 44 is not there. Almost a, a loose ball, but nothing comes up with it. Number four shoots three, in and out. 44, Graham tried to uh, muscle it in and just wouldn't go. And he picks up the foul too. So that would be his first. And that would be the team's third. Like Crawford back in the game. Two on one. That time Dothan didn't do a good job by the bit getting back defensively. And they paid for it. Down by two, 39-37. Forty-four gets the foul. That's going to be Crawford's third. And that could be uh, big for Delville. Dothan's got to make those shots, Bobby. They're getting some easy shots under the basket, and they are not making them. 39-37, still trailing by two. Just can't seem to uh, 
Get an edge on it. Knocked away by Devil, so uh, Dothan will maintain possession with a two-point lead, 39-37, 3-12 left in the third. Pass comes into Williams. Dothan working around to number 20, Morris on the inside, and 24 downtown for Williams. That's a crucial three. That was a big three by him, and Dothan needed that one. Uh, they were trailing by two. Williams puts them back up by one. That should have been. <laughs> and Dothan's got to get the head back in the game. There's no reason in the world he should have lost that ball out of bounds. So you got to stay focused the whole time you're in the game. He can't take a nap, not in this one. No. So Graham leads the game, and back in is number 34, Butler. As, as Neal is back in as well. Three-point shot. Nailed it. That's McGurk's three. Uh, third three of the game, 16 points for Robert McGirt. Back to a two-point lead. And Neal answers with a three. Wow. Jordan Neal, that's Jordan Neal's fourth three. That gives him 12 points. And Dothan a one-point lead with 2.32 left in the third period. All right, welcome back to the Dothan uh, Civic Center for the 8th Annual Downtown Dothan Hoops Classic. And we have a classic going on right here. It's a one-point Dothan high lead, 43-42. Two minutes and a half left in the third period of play. This has been a seesaw battle. And it has, Bobby. And Delville has led most of the game. Dothan has taken the lead a couple of times, but not for long. From the corner. Number 12, McGirt for another three. That's four threes for McGirt. Like I said, you got to get in McGirt's face because he will shoot the lights out. So we got a foul call here. That foul and the is foul on, is on McGirt, his first. So Dothan will, uh, with a minute 58 left, trailing by two points, 45-43. Here's the inbounds toss. Going inside to the big guy, drives toward the basket, nothing there, Get out, and he gets out of the lane. 24 shoots a three, off the mark, and Dale will get the rebound. Number 10, that's Bloodshaw. Excuse me, Cope misses the, the shot. Here comes Dothan. And we get a reaching in foul from behind. Number 30. That's Darwin Mason who has just come into the game. A minute 32 left to end the third period. 45-43 in favor of the visiting. Dale Warhawks. Number one shoots a three. Oh, that's, his, that's his fifth three. Now it's back to a one point Dothan lead. 46 45, a minute 13. We've got some three point shooters in this game. Jordan Neal for Dothan and Robert McGirt for Daleville. Number 30, Mason into the game. Over to number 10, who shoots a three, misses. And the big guy gets it, but he throws it right to Dothan's uh, 24, Williams, in for two. That time, Williams was in the right place at the right time, and he took advantage of the situation. So Dothan's got a three-point lead, 48-45. As McGirt shoots a three, misses. Number 10 gets the rebound, turnaround jumper, puts it in. That was Cope for two. Cope did a good job of getting in position for that rebound. Bobby, he got it and put it up for two. Timeout on the floor here with, with 31.2 seconds left. So we got a 30-second timeout. Yeah, with, and uh, uh, let's see, Bobby. Let me quickly recap the scoring by periods. 
at the end of uh, one, Delville led 25 to 20, and they took a two-point lead into halftime, 34 to 32. And now Dothan leads by 148-47. And I tell you, the big guns in this game has been, well, Delville's had two big guns, number 12, Robert McGirt, who uh, has put up uh, 16, 18, 19 points. And number 42, Zacchaeus Hayes has 15. Now on the other side, for Dothan, the big gun has been Jordan Neal. He's hit five three-pointers. Five out of seven attempts. Five out of seven three-pointers. <laughs> <laughs> and that gives him 15 points. All right, uh, Dothan crosses uh, midcourt, stretching the floor. Number three puts it up, and it goes in. Jordan Small, that gives him eight points. Eight His points. first points of the half. McGirt. It won't go. <laughs> it wouldn't have counted. He didn't yeah. get it off in time. So that brings us to the end of three. It's a three-point uh, Dothan high lead, 50 to 47. Back with the fourth and final quarter right after this timeout on the Scenic Sports Network. Downtown Dothan Hoops Classic at the Dothan Civic Center. As we've mentioned, we've got a classic going on right now in this uh, semifinal contest between the Devil Warhawks and the Tigers of Dothan High. And this has been a seesaw battle, Mitt. At the end of one, Devil was up by five, 25-20. At the half, it was 34-32. And now at the end of three, Dothan's got a three-point lead, 50-47. And that's the first lead Dothan has had at the end of a period, Bobby. Yeah. They trail at the end of one and the end of two. So they've, uh, they're going into the four period with a three-point lead. All right, here's the inbounds toss, and number four is underway. And we get a reach-in foul. Williams going to commit his third. So it's a non-shooting foul. Don't, uh, neither team in the bonus. Uh, Dale has committed five fouls, now Dothan four. Oh, nice rebound by Dothan. Across the floor to Williams. To the big guy. And a great hustle that time to block that shot. McGirt. Great move by Robert McGirt. 50-49, 7-17 left. So it's kicked away by Daleville, so Dothan will maintain possession. Uh, Butler gets to take a break as number 44 Graham is back in the game. 7.03 left in the ball game. Inside number five, turn around, jumper, it's good. Good looking shot that time by uh, Jamarcus Sims. That's nine points for Sims. Back to a three-point lead, 52-49. Number five in the game, Bloodshaw again. 22 jumper, two points. I tell you what, Delville does a good job on those short jumpers, Bobby. They really do. They haven't missed many of those. Dothan by one, 52-51. A hook shot by Graham is not any good, so here comes uh, loose ball everywhere. 42 puts it in for two. That was a great hustle by the entire Delfield team, by, but they kept that ball alive until they could get something out of it. They lead by one, 53-52. Dothan was a hit by three at the end of the period. But Delville has come back and taken a one-point lead. 
big rebound by 44 Graham and puts it in for two. That's a big two-point play. That was a good-looking shot that time coming from Chris Graham. And we want to apologize to the uh, Daleville audience when they're watching this. Uh, you know, we're not uh, we're, we're not supposed to be biased in any way, <laughs> but uh, w w I, I graduated from Dothan High School. You did too, so it, you know it's kind of hard to get get carried away for this stuff. But I, but not taking anything away from the Warhawks of hey, Daleville, the they have played an outstanding game. They are an impressive team. Very impressive team, Bobby. These guys play hard, and they're talented too. 53, 54-53, uh, that's Dothan by one. Put that foul on, 4-2. That's gonna be the third one on Hayes. It was uh, knocked away by Daleville's number 12, uh, McGird, who's been all over the place. I'll tell you, he, he is all over the place. 5 one left in the game. It's just a one-point lead for the Tigers of Dothan. He's one of those players that has a knack for the game, Bobby. He knows where to go and what to do. Driving the baseline. And a reach-in foul by number five, Bloodshaw. That's going to be his third. And that should put uh, Dothan in the bonus. At the line is number one, Jordan Neal. This is his first visit to the line. He has 15 points and hold him a three pointers. Yeah, he's five of eight from three through five point ter three point territory. Makes that first one. Dothan back up by two. So Neil makes both of his free throws. That gives him 17 points. And Dothan a three-point lead. 56-53, 440 left in the game. 22 jumper, turn around, off the mark. Tipped, Dothan loses it. Number 10 puts it in. I tell you, Delville, they stay after it, Bobby. They stay after it. I mean, it's 56-55. It's and that's a sign of good coaching and good teamwork. Number 20 puts it in. Right to a three-point game, 58-55. Good. First layup by number 22 is good. 58-57, Dothan by one. That's 15 points by a hit. All right, here comes Dale on the fast break. I tell you. I'm impressed. <laughs> These guys, both teams are playing really hard. Uh, that's Bloodshaw's fourth. So coming to the line to shoot is Neal with uh, uh, 15, 17 points. I admit I counted him up. Dothan is 10 for 17 from the free throw line. That's not very good. And they probably have done better in the second half than they did in the first. But it's still too many missed free throws. Misses that one and one. Followed up by number 12 for two, Baggett. Back to a three-point lead. 60-57. As Dale working the ball around, driving toward the basket. Knocked away by number 20. What a block by Morris. And uh, that, that was a good block that time by Morris because I tell you what, Coach was going for it. And uh, Coach Emmanuel Brown says, I need to talk to my guys just a few minutes. So we're going to take a little break here with 310 left, 60-57, a three-point Dothan High lead. You're watching the Scenic Sports Network. 
Back at the Dothan Civic Center where the barn burner continues here with three minutes and ten seconds left. This is anybody's game it, with uh, a three-point Dothan lead, 60-57. Right, you're exactly right, Bob. It could go either way. And Dothan no gets a turnover. Boy, wow. It was knocked out of his hand. <laughs> Boy, they dodged the, uh, the bullet that time, as they say. Yeah. Now he comes out to uh, Baggett. Neal puts it in for two more. 19 points for Jordan Neal. It's a five point lead, 62 57. Knocked away by Dothan. That was uh, Kobe Baggett almost getting a steal. So here's the inbounds toss. We got 2.45 left. 62 57, Dothan lead. 42 from free throw territory. Dump it for two. You can't leave those guys wide open. That time, Dothan did a poor job. They left uh, Hayes wide open. And I tell you what, Delville is one of the best short shooting teams I've seen, Bobby. From within like 10, 10 feet or so, those guys knock those shots down. So Dothan's got to get in that face if they want to uh, hold on to this lead. They're leading by three, 62 to 59. And just quickly recapping the scoring, uh, Robert McGirt has 21 points for us so far. Uh, number 42, Zacchaeus Hayes has 21, uh, has 19 points. Jordan Neal for Dothan has 19 points. So they are the three leading scorers in this game. And uh, Jalen Hinton, number 22, has 15 points also for Delville. So Delville has three double-figure uh, players right now. Well, we got uh, Neal with uh, 19, Small with eight, uh, nine points for Sims, three points for Baggett, seven points for Morris, five points for Williams, six points for Butler, and four points for Graham, for Dothan. So we have two minutes, 31 seconds left in the um, – Four period. I'm not going to say in the game. I'm just going to say the four <laughs> period. <laughs> because the way these teams are going, any, anything can happen. All right, Dothan on the inbounds toss. A uh, little pressure applied by, by Daleville on this uh, particular possession. I'll tell you what, Jordan Neal, he's been the, he's been the, the key guy for Dothan tonight. That's going to do it. No, it's the third, second foul on Coke. Yeah, Coke picks up his second at no. the line. Yeah, that's his second for Coke. Yeah, but it and uh, Neil is at the line. He's two of three from the line tonight with 19 points. Okay, he has uh, got 19 points. He's shooting two on this one. It falls. He, he missed a free throw a while ago, didn't he? Yeah, he's three of four right. from the line. So it's about uh, 11 for 20. That's just over 50%. Two clutch ones there. So Dothan's up by five, 64 to 59, 218 left. A lot of time left. Yep. Both of them trying to stay in the hunt in this uh, semifinal. We get a whistle. It's a foul, but uh, if it's a floor foul, it's the non-shooting foul. Okay, that's the first foul on Neal. Well, they say he was in the act of shooting, so he's going to yeah. get two shots. And that's only Dothan's fifth foul, team foul. Nine committed by... Dale, 2.06 left. He misses that one. So Bloodshaw is not, I don't have him as scored at all. No, he hasn't, but uh, he's been in this game. He's, he's definitely a contributor. So he, he makes one of two. So 64-60.
Dalton Not calls a timeout, and, and what happened that time, Bobby? He was trying to dribble too much. <laughs> he should have looked for someone to pass the ball off to, and luckily uh, Coach Brown called timeout. So we're under two minutes at 156, and just recapping the scoring by periods, Delville led 25-20 at the end of one. They took a 34-32 lead in the halftime. And Dothan had a big third period. They took a three-point lead into the fourth of 50-47. And it's right now 64-60. to so, uh, All important, 156 left in the fourth period. Yes, uh, and that's, that's very important. <laughs> the team that wins this game will advance to the championship game. And uh, Dothan is the defending champion. Right. So, and, and Coach Brown has won this tournament as a uh, coach of two different teams. He was uh, Houston County's coach, and they won it one year, and uh, he's won it one year as the Dothan head coach. Uh, we got a call, foul call on number 10. That's going to be Coach's third. Going to the line is going to be Jordan Neal. So we have a Jordan on the floor, Poppy. It's not <laughs> Michael Jordan, but it's uh, Jordan Neal. And tonight he's been looking a lot like uh, 20, Michael Jordan. Yeah, with 21 points. Front end of a one and one. So he gets the bonus. He's five of six from the line tonight. As the basket, puts it up, and he makes it. So Dothan up by six. Minute 49 left. I tell you what, McGurk's probably going to take a three, and I tell you what, he's probably going to knock it in, too. They're trying to get McGurk open. They're taking a lot of time. We get a whistle to stop the clock at 126. We'll see who the foul is on for Dothan. 20. Morris is third. Aaron Cope at the line with four points. First free throw attempt. Misses. And Delville has missed some free throws in the second half. And they are... Uh, Let's see, Bobby, they have only been to the line one, two, two times in the half. They've, they're one of, one of two. Two big free throws missed by Delville. Great the effort. basket counts. Graham comes through big on the missed shot. That's Hayes' fourth yep. foul. At the line is Chris Graham. Graham has six points. And Dothan has gone up by eight with 1.14 left in the fourth period. So Graham makes it a three-point play. Robert McGirt. Daleville is 10 of 15 from the free throw line. McGirt goes coast to coast for the basket. And that gives him 23 points. It's a seven-point game, 107 left in the uh, fourth period. So we got a 107 left in the fourth period. Dothan's leading by seven, 69 to 62. A lot of basketball left. To play I this tell you minute. what, when you got that guy with that 12 on his jersey, there's a lot of time left because I tell you, Robert McGirt, he can get the job done. And so can uh, number 42 Hayes or number 22 Hinton. So that's that one, two, three punch. And those guys are very capable uh, players. All right, uh, full court pressure applied by Delville. Not very effectively, but uh, almost uh, come up with a steal. And they did. They came up with one. Number 12 puts McGirt. it in. And Dothan needs to do a better job of passing the ball. 47 seconds left. 
Coach Brown wants a timeout. Let's see. Five-point game. 43.9 seconds left as we take a timeout on the floor. I, I tell you what, what, what's happening, Bobby. Dalton's got to spread the ball out more. Whoever gets the ball is going to try to dribble it down. And, and what, what, what's happening is they're double team and trapping them, and they force a turnover that time. So. Well, it's the only way they got a chance. Uh, or either go ahead and make an intentional foul, and they really don't want to do that. Right. But the uh, time is quickly uh, dwindling away. That was McGirt's 25th point. Yep. He, has, uh, he had 10 in the first half, and he's come out and put up 15 more here in the second half. So this is a crucial possession for Dothan. They've got to try to take some time off the clock, or if they get fouled, they've got to try to uh, make their make free those, throws. make those bonuses. Right. So. And, and Dothan can still commit one more foul. Uh, and, well, the next foul, they'll go well, in the bonus. Well, Dothan is in the uh, double bonus because uh, – Yeah, it's, been, it's 10. Yeah. Built, yeah. So, yeah, it's automatically two point, shot, two point yes. three free throws, yeah. <coughs> so, Dothan will try to inbound the ball, and Delville's putting the pressure on. And they get they it in. in. And, and they get a foul. Yeah. And that was a quick foul. Delville just want to get possession again. At the line, it's number 12. Kobe Baggett, he's one of two from the line, but he'll be shooting two. 22 commits his second. <laughs> Only took off like uh, two seconds on the clock, too. Right, and that's, that's, that's smart playing and coaching. Baggett is uh, one for two. So that's a big free throw there. One for three. Two for three, I'm sorry. And that puts Stoughton up by six, so it'll take two possessions. It makes them both. Yeah. Those two. were clutch. Clutch free Don't throw. Work. Those were, Bob, but now it's going to take three possessions for Delville. They'd have to have to hit two threes and, and get another point. McGurk's going to take it. Forty-two puts it in. Hayes. And Barbara, that's uh twenty-one for Hayes. And it's a five point game, twenty-six point six seconds left. And boy, this is like a chess match <laughs> going on here uh, between the, the coaches. Two basketball minds going at it here. Uh, of course, uh, you know, and, and uh, you know, this is smart. Uh, you you see a lot of a lot of coaches, they use their they use their full timeouts early but uh, the whole first half nothing but 30 second timeouts and there were very few of those and then also in the third there was uh, I, I think probably they've used up all their 30 second timeouts and only thing left are fools so uh, it's uh, still a lot of time 26 seconds and yeah, a lot can happen yeah hey uh, still Okay, that is a five-point lead, so it's down to two possessions now. Yep. You know, so what Dothan needs to do is get the ball down the court and run some more time off the clock. But Delville probably is going to try to either go for the steal or foul here early to preserve some time. Yep. Dothan does not need a turnover on this inbound stop. Right. They've, they've got – because if they turn the ball over, it could uh, put Delville within three. And with Robert McGurd out there, that's nothing. Yeah, but I tell you what, Jordan Neal has been very impressive for the Tigers tonight. Williams is fouled and by 22, <coughs> that's his third. Hinton is called for the foul. At the line, shooting two is number 24, Tyson Williams. Williams has five points. This is his first visit to the free throw line. And Dothan have all, they have the other four players back on the other end of the court. He makes it. And Bobby, they have been making them here when they had to, here in the closing minutes of this game. It's back to a six-point lead. Williams makes both, and it's a seven-point lead. Yeah. 
Number 30 shoots a three, and he makes it. That was Basin. I tell you, they got some shooters. It's a four-point game. And that foul is on Cope. His fourth. Yep. Going to the line is Jordan Neal. Neal is one, two, three, four, five, six, six or seven from the line. With 23 points. <clears throat> he can pretty much ice it with uh, one of these. Yes. I tell you what, Neal, he's, he's going to get my MVP vote tonight. <laughs> if Dothan wins this one, Jordan Neal has my MVP. He makes Boy, them both. He's made some clutch free throws. Hasn't he, though? 15 uh, three-pointers. And McGirt hits it at the buzzer. And that's going to end it. Dothan wins 75-72. to 72. Wow, what a game. Wow, I'm telling you, Mitt. All right, uh, yeah. quickly, I got uh, I got some totals here for you okay. for uh, for Daleville. Uh, Bloodshaw in the night uh, was one for two from the free throw line. The Cope finishes with uh, four points on the night. The big scorer for them, of course, is uh, number uh, 12 with McGirt. He had one, two, three, four, five three pointers. He finishes the night with 28 points. Uh, Jalen Hinton with 13 points. Three points from Darwin Mason, a clutch three-pointer. Uh, Jonathan Pittman committed to uh, just uh, uh, two points in the game. 21 points from uh, G. Vargas Crawford to round out the scoring for the Delva Warhawks. Uh, okay, and over for the Dothan Tigers, my MVP tonight uh, was number one, Jordan Neal. Neal had 25 points, Bob, and this is the most impressive thing about him. He had five three-pointers, but he was eight for nine from the foul line. He hit his last six free throws when Dothan had to have them. Yep. And so that was a, a very impressive performance tonight by number one, Jordan Neal. Uh, other scores for Dothan, Jordan Small had eight points, one point from Tyrese Lindsey. Jamarcus Sims had nine, five from Kobe Baggett, uh, seven from Kevin Morris, seven from uh, Tyson Williams, six from Tavoris Butler, and seven from Chris Graham. So it was a big night for the Tigers, and they are the defending downtown Dothan Hoops Classic champion, and they will get to defend that title uh, in the championship game against the winner of the Eufaula Malone game. And that is coming up next tonight. Uh, uh, and uh, we will uh, we'll break away from uh, the eighth annual downtown Dothan Hoops Classic as we have decided one of the uh, the championship games, the other to be decided, and we'll let you know that on our next broadcast. So the final score as Dothan High moves forward to the championship game by defeating Daleville by a score of 75 to 72. For Bobby Price, Mitt Kirkland, and Brandon my, Bryan. And my buddy Brandon Bryan back there. We're going to say so long. See you again soon right here on the Scenic Sports Network.